Good morning to all. In this video, we are going for the IC compiler from Synopsys, and this is the ADA tutorial series, uh, part seven. Under this, we try our best to have that tickle file for the ICC. Let's start with the presentation. Uh, I want to keep this uh, this part as uh, small as possible, and mainly it depends on the uh, lots of things on the tickle files for the IC uh, layout. So I want to be more specific uh, regarding the tickle file as a static tickle file. Only we need to change some parts. What need to be changed, we will see that. Okay. It is used for the layout generation and the output files will be the GDS and the parameter extraction for the further process on the prime time for the STA. Okay. So, as we know from the earlier uh, videos, uh, the RTL to netlist overview is simple. We, we have to process uh, the source file with constants and the tag lib through the design vision or RC compiler. It will generate the create netlist and other reports as we already seen these things in earlier uh, tutorial series and one more important I uh, just to add into this on the platform of design vision we can have the generation of the parasitic files SPEF and SDC files so this parameter uh, extraction or parasitic file generation is based on the cells only not the based on the lump component throughout the layouts like uh, RNCs okay so this is purely uh, cell based SPEF but after generation of the layout in ICC parasitic uh, file similar to this one from the design vision but it has more uh, uh, detailed uh, parasitic extraction files I am going to say that okay so these two things uh, please keep in mind while going for the prime time okay prime time may have different values with the design vision SPEF file and ICC SPEF file. Okay. Okay. The the input files for the IC compiler get netlist and SDC file from the design widget. Okay. And the supply the uh, lib files for the linkage target library and the symbol. And there are lots of uh, other layout related constraints are there. There are lots of things are there regarding the uh, layout constraints. So we will see these uh, constraints in the tickle file as a static or constant commands. Okay. And the result from this ICC compiler, uh, which is our GDS file, which is going to be used for the manufact actual manufacturing process of the IC layout. As I told the parasitic files, SPEF file, SBPF files and the netlist. So these parasitic files has extra uh, inputs. Okay, so this is more detailed SPEF file that can be supplied to the uh, prime type for the STA. So in this flow, we almost cover all the things like uh, physical design process, then set setting up the environment, reading of the design uh, to the flow planning, placements, clock. CTS routing and final verification. Actually, each step is uh, crucial while we are making some uh, manufacturable things like GDS. So, each has its own importance. Okay. So, be cautious about setting up this thing. For learning purpose, I am uh, giving this brief idea, but you have to go through the, all the details of this. Okay. So the flow is very simple. We going for the 90 nanometer library, and the design and the cross chain like uh, netlist file dot v file and the SDC file. Then floor planning plus uh, placement clock tree CTS then routing final verification and output generation as uh, GDS and this uh, parameter extraction of that layout. Okay, there are other uh, results also, but. Uh, 
mostly we require the GDS and this parameter extracted call for the STS. So because I am planning to go after this uh, the prime time. So in that case we I need this file. Okay, so that is why I am uh, forcefully going for the ICC right now. Okay. So the file use uh, we are using the 20 nanometer technology. Then sequence detector 1101 Mure type FSM is there, and I create a gate net list. So the file is like the, uh, like this name, and one SDC file from the design vision. These two things are uh, required with the technology, and the, our main module name is uh, sequence detect 110 Mure. Okay. The folder look like uh, 90 nanometer as uh, seen icons, models, then DV, FR, technology files, uh, uh, TLU plus. These are the folders and these are some uh, files outside that folder. So keep in mind that ICC folder details, one tickle file, one SDC file and one get netlist file. So please subscribe my channel and comment uh, if you need any, anything. And if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer that and please hit like button. So we go to the terminal and see what we can do for this. So under this, uh, we are already in the ICC folder and we have three files, one tickle files, one SDC and one netlist file. We already seen the uh, netlist files okay, and SDC file as well. So we directly see the tickle file and it, it will be very large tickle file okay i just summarize something regarding the uh, custom custom uh, commands like we need to set the library search path then link target and symbol all these are if your technology is fixed so these are things is almost constant every time okay so don't look up these things you can take as a grant there is a constant thing for the result storage i make a, uh, one folder under the results icc and we have to give the top level name whatever the name of that netlist uh, get netlist has as a top name so then uh, create uh, milk way uh, libraries it is also static one so we don't consider this as a burden to remember these things so most of the things are constants or we can say they're static so we can take it as granted okay so we need to read the verilog file that is our gate net list okay so then as this file we also reading with the source command then floor planning initial floor planning core utilization point three three these are some constant we have to provide then we said these are the things related to power ground power ports these are the allies of this vdd vss G, uh, v, vss vdd like that so again we have to define the power and ground nets okay these are the commands actually and it will be the static one so don't bother to remember all these things if you need this uh, tickle file i will uh, share with the google uh, Google Drive so make a comment for that okay so just I scroll uh, this thing because it is a very constant and static one for uh, every time from couple of years I am using the same tickle file but I am not change anything here I only change the name of the module okay nothing else I just change this and if possible if the technology get altered i only change technology related paths like that okay otherwise it is a, from the couple of years it is a static one only i change the top level name all other things are constant so for uh, for you i just uh, scroll down slow by slow so you can pause on uh, get that things okay because it is very static thing so there is no need to uh, discuss in this uh, short video 
if you need you can have the another series of these things in separate way and for this command you can refer either the uh, user guide of this icc actually we at the last we need one uh, set right stream options okay in that we write one gds file for the top level okay and there is a right come right uh, parasitic that we need dot spef file and these are the netlist which is going to be the same netlist uh, that we are providing but have some different uh, arrangement according to the icc so i hope you got these basic things so let's begin with the uh, process of the icc which okay. need to go with the work and then i from this i try icc shield okay so then source it is an icc folder the icc tickle rtl to layout tickle so just enter it warnings information is going on so we need a dot gds file and the uh, to get the understanding of what what is going on there we have requirement only spef file and the some uh, gds file so might be there some uh, errors warnings are there so for actual process you can go through the so it might take some time to populate the layout so it is a layout is a simple uh, some interconnection of the metals with the uh, okay so also we can get the reports from uh, from this as well right parasitic then also there is a seo options are there there are a lot of menus in this so i recommend recommend the special series for the icc compiler but uh, we are just uh, up to the how we can provide the inputs and what we want to get from this uh, icc so that at basic level we know to run this command or uh, run this icc compiler if it once uh, uh, open properly then you can have these all these things uh, around for playing okay so one more uh, we need to check check the results at the icc folder in the under the we need to go the results icc print. so as we know it generated the gds file and the two files in two formats spef parametric extraction of the rc okay and one get netlist so we so there is no uh so for just to have the spf5 details all the numbers of nets and corresponding register capacitors that is parasitic we can consider as okay so let it be i hope uh, this uh, small uh, tutorial help create uh, icc tickle file and please uh, make comment regarding if you need uh, tickle files i will submit on the or will share with the google share link okay thank you and please subscribe my channel and support me okay thank you bye